Hello everyone, this is Dr. Audrey Tai. I'm a board certified and fellowship trained LASIK and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. Welcome back to my channel, iChannel by iSurgeon. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about my top five choices of the over-the-counter dry eye drops. These are the artificial tears to treat dry eye disease. This is not a sponsored video. The products I recommend in this video are based on my own clinical experience treating dry eye disease patients in my practice and the in-depth research I did about the science behind the ingredients of our different artificial tears, as well as my personal experience using those eye drops. To learn more about my practice, you can follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai. And if you have learned anything new from this video, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new videos I make about eye health and eye surgery. As a LASIK surgeon and cornea specialist, I often get patients with varying severity of dry eye disease referred to me from other eye doctors. For each of my patients with dry eye disease, I give them a written customized treatment plan. All of the treatment plans include one or more over-the-counter artificial tears, and I specify which type of artificial tears that I recommend. However, if you are going to a pharmacy to choose artificial tears on your own, the choices may be overwhelming. There are typically more than 20 to 30 different types of artificial tears available over the counter. How do you know which one is the right one for you? In this video, I will go over with you about the science behind my top five picks of artificial tears for treating dry eye disease and to help you understand the differences between them and choose the artificial tears that works the best for you. I've listed the links to my top five artificial tears in the description down below. If you would like to learn more about the science behind the ingredients of different artificial tears and why I would recommend certain artificial tears over other ones, you can check out my video about the science behind artificial tears ingredients. Without further ado, let's talk about artificial tears. Artificial tears are intended to supplement the natural tears that are made by the tear glands in our eyes. The natural tears lubricate the surface of our eyes by forming a tear film. The tear film has three layers. The outermost layer is called the lipid layer. This layer functions as a protective barrier to prevent tears from drying out too fast. The middle layer is called the aqueous layer. This watery layer contains the moisture we need to keep the surface of our eye lubricated. The innermost layer of our tear film is called the mucin layer. The mucin layer functions as a bridge to keep the tear film attached to the surface of our eye. It is called the cornea, and it is the clear windshield of our eye. An ideal artificial tear should be able to supplement all three layers of our tear film. I will also be posting a more in-depth video about the mechanisms of dry eye disease and different types of dry eyes. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my new videos. I have divided my top five favorite artificial tears in two groups based on the severity of the dry eye disease, mild to moderate and moderate to severe. And I will list the top three artificial tears that I recommend for mild to moderate dry eye disease, as well as my top two picks to treat moderate to severe dry eye disease. Number three, Sustain Complete, made by Alcom. It comes in a 10 ml bottle and uses polyquad as its preservative. The reason I like it is because it uses nano droplet technology, which is a type of nano emulsion drug delivery system using negatively charged submicron sized carrier particles to provide greater surface area to improve the stability and absorption of the drop. Also, Sustain Complete addresses all three layers of artificial tears as it contains polyethylene glycol as its active ingredient to form a protective layer over the mucous membrane on the surface of the eye to provide hydration as well as reducing inflammation. In addition to that, it contains hydroxypropaguar, aka HPGuar. It is a pH-dependent molecule that can form a cross-linked network which merges with the natural tear film to form a protective layer to cover the damaged epithelial cells on the surface of the cornea. This allows damaged epithelial cells to be able to repair themselves in a protective space. 
In addition to that, Sustain Complete contains mineral oil, which targets the lipid layer of the tear film to prolong the effectiveness of the eye drop by reducing evaporation of the eye drop and the aqueous layer of the tear film. This helps to retain moisture on the surface of the eye longer. My number two pick for mild to moderate dry eye disease is Refresh Reliever made by Allergan. It contains active ingredients of carboxymethylcellulose sodium, or CMC, as well as glycerin. Both of the ingredients are water-soluble polymer that have characteristics similar to natural tears, and therefore they can lubricate the surface of the eye with minimal disruption of the natural tears. And glycerin can decrease the osmolarity of the tear film on the surface of the eye to provide additional lubrication and promote epithelial cell growth. Among the inactive ingredients, it contains sodium hyaluronate. It helps repair corneal epithelial cells and lower the tear film osmolarity. The preservative used in Refresh Reliever is the pyrite oxidative preservative. Another reason I like Refresh Reliever is that it comes in both preservative containing and preservative free forms. One of the unique things about Refresh Reliever is that its preservative free version comes in a multi-dose 10 ml bottle and this packaging wastes a lot fewer drops and it uses much less plastic packaging material comparing to the single-use vial packaging. It saves money and it is convenient. My favorite over-the-counter dry eye drop for mild to moderate dry eye disease is Refresh Digital Artificial Tears made by Allergan. The difference between Refresh Digital versus Refresh Reliever is the added emollient component in Refresh Digital Artificial Tears. Refresh Digital Artificial Tears contain castor oil, which is a natural ingredient derived from castor beans, and it targets the lipid layer of tear film by reducing evaporation of the tear film and extending the effectiveness of artificial tears. Besides CMC and glycerin, an additional active ingredient in Refresh Digital is polysorbate. Polysorbate can help blind the oil component and the water-soluble component of the artificial tears to make the eye drop more soluble and easily spread across the surface of the eye. The preservative used in Refresh Digital is the Pure White Oxidative Preservative. I do wish the Refresh Digital Preservative Free was also available in the multi-dose bottle to reduce waste. In moderate to severe dry eye disease, people often need to use artificial tears very frequently throughout the day due to the severity of surface dryness sometimes as often as every hour to every two hours. It is very important for people with moderate to severe dry eye disease to use preservative free artificial tears. To prevent any toxicity from such frequent application of the preservatives onto the surface of the eye. One of my two favorite over-the-counter eye drops that can be used daily is Refresh Cellovisc. It is preservative free and it contains the active ingredient of 1% CMC. This is double the concentration of the CMC contained in other types of refresh eye drops. The increased concentration of CMC will allow artificial tears to stay much longer on the surface of the eye. However, because of the higher concentration of the CMC, Cellovisc is a fairly thick eye drop. And I'll often remind my patients who are using it that because the eye drop is very thick, you may experience blurry vision for a couple of minutes after putting it in. Make sure you blink a few times after putting the eye drop and don't put in the drop right before driving or operating other machinery. My other favorite dry eye drop for moderate to severe dry eye disease is Gentile Eye Gel made by Alcon. Gentile Gel is the thickest eye drop among my top five favorite artificial tears. It comes in a gel consistency and contains hypermellose 0.3%. Hypromellose is short for hydroxypropyl methylcellulose, or HPMC. It is an active ingredient that increases the viscosity of the eye drop to extend the lubricating quality of the eye drop. HPMC can cross-link when contacting the surface of the eye to slow down tear film evaporation. Gentile gel provides long-lasting lubrication to the surface of the eye. Because of its long-lasting lubricating quality, I typically recommend my patients with severe dry eye disease to use Gentile gel four times a day, including at night before going to bed. And also because it's in a gel form, 
it causes less blurry vision than most over-the-counter eye ointments. It is important to remember, Gentile Gel can still cause some blurry vision shortly after putting in the eye drop. So it is important not to put in the drop right before driving or operating other machinery. And the preservative used in Gentile Gel is sodium perborate, brand name Genoqua. It is an oxidative type of preservative. I've listed in the description below links to my top five artificial tears that I mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful in learning more about the science behind artificial tears, and that this video will help you pick the artificial tears that work best for you. Please let me know which over-the-counter artificial tears are your favorite in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel to help me bring you more videos about eye health and eye surgery. To learn more about my practice, you can follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.